Okay, we're good. So, hello and welcome to my channel again. It's pretty fresh, so this is, you know, me getting back into the swing of things. It's super weird being in front of a camera again, and I'm getting used to it. So, um, if any of you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I graduated with my Bachelor's of Arts in English back in April of this year. And since then, I've dived into writing my middle grade novel, building my Twitter, made more writing friends, rebooted my blog, started this YouTube channel, found out I was having our second baby, hence the uh, lovely shirt here, it says hello baby. Um, moved across the country, helped my husband get into medical school, applied for a master's program of English. Yeah, it's been a crazy year. I've been crazy busy, and to be honest, I'm really glad that 2019 is almost over. There's something so rejuvenating about starting over with a whole fresh year ahead of you. I've been thinking a lot about New Year's since it's coming up, and how strange it really is, the whole concept of New Year's. Literally when January 1st rolls around, almost nothing really changes in our lives. Most of us are still going back to the same old jobs, attending the same university, or generally being the same person. Yet, when we hang up that new calendar or write those New Year's resolutions, we feel inspired to be different. We get an excuse from the universe to start over, to be different, to dream big, and to plan for more exciting things to come. And if any of you know me, <laughs> some of my friends watching this video, you know that I love a good solid plan. For the whole month before NaNoWriMo in October, they have like a whole planning session that you can do. And NaNoWriMo has all of these like resources to help you plot your novel and to do all of that. So that whole month beforehand, I spent a lot of evenings planning my novel, crafting scenes, working out character ideas, hammering down plot details until the 1st of November, when I finally felt prepared enough to dig into writing my first draft. I even have to like sometimes script myself here, just <laughs> getting used to being back here. But uh, yeah, so I, I spent all of that time digging into plotting my draft. And to be honest, the thought of planning for 2020 scares me. It, maybe it's because there's so much change coming into my life next year. A new baby, starting a new program in a new school, living in a new state, meeting new people, adapting to a new environment. It's all a little bit overwhelming. I know when January rolls around, a lot of my life won't have changed yet, but I know it's coming. And the pressure of being prepared and planning for all of this and those changes weighs heavy on my heart. Even after all my planning, I still didn't meet my NaNoWriMo word count goal. And maybe the little details like that are really plaguing me in the back of my mind, telling me that there's no point in bracing the new year, no point in getting excited for a fresh start or setting new goals. But here's the thing. I've come to realize as a writer, you will never be able to succeed if you don't believe in yourself and your goals. Celebrating the new year and embracing the idea of a fresh start isn't just about following the tradition or setting goals that you feel that you'll never be able to achieve. It's really about giving ourselves a chance to believe we can do better. To believe that we are good enough and worthy enough to get to a higher plane of success. To believe that we can finish our novel this year or read that big stack of books or visit the places we've always wanted to go because we are worth it. I'm inspired by my friends in the writing community who are embracing the spirit of the new year and setting goals for their projects and for their personal lives. Writing thrives on goals and deadlines and dies on the end pen thoughts of what we could have done. So with that, give yourself permission to plan some writing goals, some reading goals, or straight up bucket list goals this year. And when the new year comes, do them. Share them and find people that inspire you to finish them. <laughs> I'm going to make a video once I plan my writing and reading goals for this year, and I will share it on here so that you guys can remind me that I have goals that I need to accomplish this year, and hopefully this channel will be a way 
of tracking those goals and giving me something to look back on, something to show and share my success. And that's really exciting for me. Making this channel was like a huge jump for me and trying to get out there and share my writing and, you know, feel a little bit more involved in the community. And so this is gonna be a big project to keep up with in and of itself, but I'm hoping that it'll inspire me and help inspire other writers. I love, 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 love the writing community and all the people that I've met there. So shout out to all of you that have been supporting me and helping me. So yeah, this New Year's, go for it, do it. Do the writing goals you've always wanted to do and tell me about it. Leave a comment below sharing your writing goals or your reading goals or maybe just your personal goals. I'd love to hear from you. Well, I wanted to end this video by sharing a poem because I was really curious, like, I wanted something that would inspire me this new year. So I found this poem by, her name's, I'm probably gonna butcher this, seriously. Her name's Ada Limon, Limon? Um, but she has this great uh, poem called, if I can find the name of it, it's called How to Triumph Like a Girl. So shout out to all my, my girl ladies out there. It says, I like the lady horses best, how they make it all look easy. Like running 40 miles per hour is as fun as taking a nap or grass. Like I like the lady horses swagger after winning. Ears up girls, ears up. But mainly let's be honest, I like that they're ladies, as if the big dangerous animal is also a part of me. That somewhere inside that delicate skin of my body, there pumps an eight pound female horse heart with giant power, heavy with blood. Don't you want to believe it? Don't you want to lift my shirt and see the huge genius beating genius machine that thinks, no, it knows it's going to come in first. I'll see you next week for my video on my goals. Bye.